After a year of online school, the Amador Library has gathered numerous resources, all designed to better help students. These include ebooks, research databases, the Green Room, and many more. Um, I really see the library as a resource center. Uh, traditionally, you know, we obviously have a number of books, uh, so we're here to support you with that. So we have books that uh, are great for SSR, whether it's fiction or high interest nonfiction. But we have other resources as well as sort of our needs expand. Uh, we have many more digital resources than we had before. We have a number of um, audiobooks which kids can download to uh, cell phones and listen to even if they're not online. And we also have a number of databases which are important to use, especially for research as uh, we need to find credible information. Probably one of the most uh, fun resources that we have is the green room, which you're able to use. Uh, you're able to record yourself in front of the green screen and you're able to take the, the, the green screen out and insert a new background. Uh, that's been very helpful for students with various projects throughout the years. Uh, I would say other resources, like I said, the audiobooks are incredibly important. And basically we have audiobooks for every core reading book that we that we have on campus. Changes that we've made to the library. Uh, one important one is we uh, basically got rid of our computer stations and we put in cafe tables that have charging stations. And so uh, we're so happy with the, the way that this is feeling because it's much more cozy where students can study quietly. The new area in the library not only features the addition of the cafe tables, but also some graffiti art and a new wall. Uh, we are open from 8 until 4 every day. We encourage students to go to abhslibrary.org or to either talk with Mrs. Kroll or myself about any questions they have. This is Arlena Yang and my car, Jocelyn Shu with ABTV, now handing it back to the studio.